was asked to do a quick review on the uh, Sparrows King and Queen set and Knight and Rook set. You'll notice first off that these picks are extremely um, angled. And I was trying to put them in an Avis here and I can pull out something else too. Um, let's let's go with the probably the wildest one is the uh, oh excuse me the knight very tall up front just getting it into a keyway you can see the problem that would present just getting it in there is kind of hell I can't really get past this you're gonna need a lot bigger keyway um, even putting it in an upside down same thing uh, the rook or excuse me yeah no the rook is a little bit easier to get in there just because it's thinner up front. Still can't get it all the way in. Um, the queen seems to be a little bit better suited. Um, same with the king. I get the queen in my hand right now. I can get it all the way in the back of the keyway, but when I start putting tension down, it's hell kind of getting it in and out. Um, if anything, for high and low pinned keys, um, I would use the king and queen. Um, Probably not the Rook and the Knight. Um, again, kind of hell getting it in there and getting it out. But if I was stuck on a very high-low pin set, this would probably be a good idea to have around. Um, so, you know, not your everyday use, but if you have a couple extra bucks to throw it away, what a cool novelty piece. Um, and yeah, I'm sure they're applicable. I just haven't found a use for them yet. Um, I'm not a professional lock picker. So take that for what it is but nifty little set um again if you're a little uh hesitant or reluctant i would just get the king and queen first and maybe save these for later unless you have a very good use form oh there you go you uh y'all have a good night and thanks for watching